that I used to live in and, and now I'm the landlord for it, which is freaking awesome. Um, Megan and her family live there and she is the manager of my vacation rentals here in Ocean Beach. And she does the cleaning, uh, runs the cleaning prop, cleaning company as well. So she helps me out immensely. She and her girls are amazing. I love them. <laughs> but I'm here with Miss Betty Blue. And I thought we'd take a look at how <laughs> the, this rig is supposed to look. So you've seen Ruby and seen kind of like what I've been doing to Ruby. So let's go in and take a little tour of what Ruby used to look like before fucking Larry got a hold of her. No problems. No broken awning. Inside. Nice floor. It's all flat aside from the bathroom. See that nice space in between there? That, that's not something we had. This door was broken in my other rig. Look at that. All the walls are just beautifully molded and sealed. Let's check out the bed has these awesome hydraulics. Check that out. And it just stays up so you can put your luggage there. Built so beautifully, sturdy, nice. Gorgeous storage. We store all the extra bedding under there for, for the galley bed because that turns into um, the, the, a bed for the small person or, or child. Things that are missing from my rig are like window covers and even just the, sh the little edging for the AC unit. Um, fridge is the same, luckily. Look at that, it, had, it already had like a neat little panel here for the, um, next to the breaker box so you could go in there. <laughs> it's so interesting to be in here. The cool thing is, is like, now I can look at Ruby and go, oh wow, she's really like beautiful and updated and kind of more like, hip style because brown wood everywhere isn't like the most beautiful thing but this rv is like super cute people love it and the cool part is is that it's all new it's all brand new and has like all new amenities and things like that like charging station all this stuff and really cool storage here's like this is something this door right here is something i'm missing from ruby and it was actually like a little hanging closet so you could hang some clothes I'm actually going to recreate that in Miss Ruby. Something that's also missing, this space. It's still tight. It's actually good to be in here. It's actually good to be in here and see like, yeah, it was tight. It's, it was always tight. And this side is was just as tight. The problem with Ruby is that one side was super tight and one side <laughs> was much wider. So... It's just nice to see how, where it started. Beautiful molding, nice. Um, the Amish built these. The Amish did all the wood in these retro riversides. So that's why they were like super nice. And when fucking Larry replaced everything, he took out all the nice wood and <laughs> replaced it with like the jankiest, cheapest crap. Look at that door. Oh, look it, look at the door. It's almost the same. It still comes out. That must be a Retro Riverside thing. Huh. One thing I'm going to try to work on for a few minutes today, I have to go do flowers. Um, but is this shower is still leaking. There's some hairs left over. The shower is still leaking and I have to figure out where. Ooh, that's gross. Looks like I need some more cleaning. Um, whether it's from here, whether it's from the sides. I'm not sure where or whether it's from the plumbing underneath. So I got to look into that, see what's going on. I bought some flex seal to try to um, seal it. And lastly, I'm going to measure this thing and order a new pan. That's what I needed to do a long time ago. So I'm going to do that. So I just decided to pull a little bit of this goop that I put on off and look, my crack that was a small crack has turned into a big ass crack. So that's obviously where it's leaking from. <laughs> Very easy to see. So, and, and part of it is because 
look at all the flecks right here in the in the ground which we talked about was due to how they built these retro riversides um and how they put the support in crooked so that you could so then right where where you're standing there was all this flex which made all the plumbing flex and messed it all up so let's see if i can jerry rig this i have guests um coming in at three ew disgusting so i am here trying to um patch this again the reason why i'm having to just patch this shower is because what's amazing is <clears throat> the summer has been so busy with my vacation rentals that i haven't had like three or four days to like take the shower pan out and do all this stuff again um which i'm really so grateful for because um you know it's been a really good summer with my vacation rentals so i've been having to just like patch and kind of just like do these jerry rig little fixes ghetto fixes to um just get through each guest so i'm gonna do that again I'm going to order the stuff and get what I need. And then as soon as I get a break in here and have some time in here, I will fix this for real, for real. So today I'm going to try something new. I'm going to try this flex shot stuff, flex seal, or whatever. I love stuff like this. Just like as seen on TV, uh, I'll, I'm like so easily sold with stupid stuff like that. Like, yo, oh, cool. They said it was going to work. I can slap a thing of tape on a water hose and it'll stop which I got some of that too so let's see uh let's see if this works um so this is the flex shot and I'm going to try to seal oops this little big ass crack it's just on this side so let's see how let's see if this works okay <clears throat> don't need a clock gun I don't need I can just, I'm supposed to just be able to press the nozzle. Oh, this is like um, squeeze cheese. Oh, cool. All right. Well, that went on very easily and quickly. I'm going to kind of just seal it around with my finger. It's hard to make this kind of stuff look pretty because it's like you need to like glorp it on as thick as you can go, you know? I don't, it's, and I'm just like, kind of terrible at that kind of detail work uh I just want it to be working and so I, and I never know whether I should just put it all the way around put like all the gloop all around or just try to seal the part to make it look so where it's like looks like it's just only broke you know it actually looks like I'm trying to fix a problem that's broken rather than just seal the whole thing I don't know but the stuff is nice and gooey. The viscosity seems cool. Seems pretty good. Seems like a little bit easier to work with than the caulks and silicones that I've used before. It's a better job than I did before. I'm still not sure if I should go all the way around, but I think I'm going to just so it doesn't look like as much of like a patch. <laughs> as it actually is so yeah i think i'm just gonna go all the way around right now and yeah all right that's what i did i think it looks kind of whoops it looks kind of okay um let's see if i can wipe a little bit off oh gee many crickets it looks kind of okay and this, so so far oh shit see look now I just opened up the hole. Dang it! See, I, I just have to put it in and not clean it up. It's just gonna look janky. Farts. All right, that's what I had to do. It looks janky. Again, thankfully, it actually looks better than the other one that I did, which was super janky. But I have that to put there. Um, so when the guests walk in, they don't like immediately see it. This little spot right here was from some you know what putting her hot tool down in my sink in my shower and look they did it here as well so I ended up went going and buying some hot tool pads and I tell them do not put your stuff on the sink please put it on the hot pad and stop burning up my RV 